Welcome to a tutorial on digital electronics and today we're going to discuss about the parity generators and the checkers, okay? So the parity generators and checkers are, you know, a means of basically detecting errors in case of digital transmission, okay? Certain data, I mean certain errors in binary data transmitted in case of a digital transmission system is detected by means of the parity generators and checker circuits okay so in order to con uh, you know just uh, explain the concept i would first take the help of a transmitter and receiver system okay here is the transmitter and here is the receiver so just imagine that this is a you know uh, digital transmission uh, process okay and the digital data from the transmitter is transmitted into the receiver by means of a transmission channel okay there you go the transmission channel all right now uh, let's say we want to transmit a data of let's say 1101 over here so now while this data gets transmitted from the transmitting to the receiving end then it might happen that the original data okay gets altered to something like this 1111 oops now that's an alarming situation because here we have an error okay and that is pretty unfortunate so in order to prevent such unfortunate circumstances okay and in order to save the data from being you know or rather uh, the data could be you know uh, subject to an error at any moment in the transmission channel because due to the uh, you know any kind of fault in the channel or maybe due to certain noise interfering with the system but what we can do is we cannot prevent this error from occurring but what we can do at the most is that we can just block such erroneous data from entering into the data acquisition system at the receiving end so for that we would require an error detection system okay at the receiving end so that such erroneous data could be blocked okay so therefore here we would like to introduce the concept of parity okay so now parity is the concept by which we could you know detect the errors in case of binary transmission or rather in case of digital transmission systems so if i just give you the definition of what parity actually means it just stands for this okay so here parity just refers to the evenness or oddness of the number of bits in a binary number or rather in a binary data with the value of 1. So basically here parity, what it wants to say is that parity refers to the number of 1s in case of a binary data and whether it is even or odd. Okay, So it just refers to the evenness or oddness of the number of 1s contained in a binary data okay so based on that we have two kinds of parity all right one is the even parity okay and the other is the odd parity all right so even parity system requires that the number of ones in case of a binary data always be even okay and the system of odd parity requires or rather demands that the number of ones in the binary data always be odd okay so now we can use this parity system okay to you know uh, detect the errors at such or rather in case of such kind of you know digital transmission systems so for that reason we would require a parity generator at the transmitter end okay a parity generator circuit at the transmitting end and the receiving end we would need a parity checker circuit okay so in case of such kind of uh, you know uh, digital transmission system okay there would be a protocol as to whether the system should work on even parity or odd parity so depending upon that we would have an even parity checker or an odd parity checker at the output depending upon whether the parity generator in the transmitting end is an even or an odd parity generator okay so therefore we go to the details about the parity concept okay 
So in case of this concept, what happens is that an extra bit it is just attached to a number. Okay, if the system, let's say, works uh, in case of an even priority system, okay, uh, let's say if we have a number, okay, a you know binary data of let's say one one zero one, then the parity generator at the transmitting end would attach an extra parity bit right at the beginning of the number. I mean of the data, okay. So this is referred to as the parity bit, in order to make the number of total. I mean the total number of ones in this data even, okay, including the parity bit. And if the number of ones in a you know uh, system is already even, then the parity bit will be attached as zero, okay. Here the parity generator will just attach a zero bit at the beginning of the you know binary data, which is here referred to as the parity bit. Okay, and in case of odd parity system, since it requires the number of you know ones in a binary data be odd, so therefore if we have a number, let's say one one zero one, then the odd parity generator would of course attach a binary bit of zero over here, which is the parity bit in this case, so that the total number of ones in the binary data, including the parity bit, is still odd. And if the number of ones in it were to be, you know, even, then the odd parity generator at the transmitting end would generate an extra one attached to the beginning right over here, which is referred to as the parity bit right here. Okay, so now including the parity bit, the number of ones in this binary data is odd. So that's what the even and the odd parity system basically does. Okay, now if I just show you the circuits of, let's say, first I show you the circuit of the even parity generator. Okay, so here I go. So let me just change the color. Okay, so now the even parity generator circuit looks somewhat like this. It just consists mainly of XOR gates. Okay, so there you go, and one more gate to go. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so here if we just you know have an input binary data x consisting of the bits x3, x2, x1, and x0. Okay, if I just write them down right over here. Okay, and the outputs from these are taken just from the input terminals. Okay, there we go x3, x2. Here we go x1. Okay, and there it is x0 okay or rather I'll just draw try and draw x0 a little further away from x1 so it just doesn't get cramped okay and at the output of this circuit right here we have the parity bit so if since it's an even parity generator if we just consider a number okay consisting of odd you know having odd number of ones in it okay 0 1 0 0 okay so here the number of ones in it is 1 which is odd so therefore, <coughs> sorry there, a little bit of throat congestion. So here we would get an output of 1 and then we have an output of 1 again. And then we would get a parity bit of 1 finally. So here the output being 0, 0, 1, 0, okay. This parity bit of 1 gets attached right at the beginning of this data. So the original data being 0, 1, 0, 0 we would okay so there is an error from me over here please don't mind that okay so if we would have since here this is the origin original number right over here and the and with the you know inclusion of the parity bit the number just changes to zero one okay one zero one zero zero okay so including the parity bit now there are two ones which is even so basically the parity generator what it does is that it just makes the number or rather the binary data at the input Okay, it just generates a parity bit, okay, depending upon whether the number of ones in it is even or odd, okay, since it's an even parity generator. So it just generates an extra parity bit, okay, and it will just generate a parity bit of one in order to make the number of, you know, ones in the input binary data even, okay, and it will generate a parity bit of zero if it needs to make, or rather if the number of ones in the input binary data is already even from the beginning okay so here if we just you know input another binary data okay having even number of ones then in this case we would have a parity bit of zero 
Okay, so the original you know number being in this case as 0, 0110, 0, we would have the number okay along with the parity bit looking somewhat like this. Okay, so here you can see the parity bit of zero is generated over here since the number of ones in the input binary data is already even. Okay, so therefore that's how the even parity generator basically works. Okay, now if I just you know try and show you how the odd parity generator works. It just works in the reverse manner okay so here we go the odd parity generator all right so here in this case let me just change the color again okay the circuit is just quite similar to that in case of the even parity generator only with the exception that there is an extra not gate being attached okay sorry this won't be there so there will be an extra not get attached at the output so here is where the parity bit is generated okay so again if we just you know use the same number as the example here x3 x2 x1 and x0 is applied and the outputs are just taken from these terminals okay here we get x3 okay here we get x2 and then we have x1 and finally we get x0 okay and here's the parity bit so what the parity or rather what this uh, you know uh, odd parity generator tries to do is that it just tries to make the number of ones in the input binary number as odd okay so if we have the same two examples over here let's say we have the you know 0 1 0 0 this number at the input then over here we would get you know a parity bit of 0 over here okay so that 0 1 0 0 okay this is the number so that the input number being 0 1 0 0 and the output number along with the parity bit atta attached to the its beginning would look somewhat like this 0 0 1 0 0 so basically over here we see the number of ones here is 1 which is odd and that's why the odd parity generator okay attaches only a 0 bit right at the beginning since the number of ones in the input binary number was already an odd number over here okay since the number of ones here was already odd so it just attached a parity bit of zero and now if we just have another number with even number of ones right over here then we would see that the parity bit being generated over here would be a one so that the number would look something like this zero one one zero okay and this one would be attached right at the beginning so the original number being this okay we would have an output of one zero one one zero so here you can see that the number of ones including the parity bit right over here will be odd okay the number of ones being three is odd okay now since the number of ones in the input binary number was two which was even so this parity generator what it did was just attached a one bit at the beginning as the parity bit in order to make the total number of ones here odd okay so that's what the parity generators basically do and now at the receiving end of our communication system we have the parity checkers so if we are just going into the details about the parity checkers in this case okay so the parity checker circuits basically are identical okay so if I just you know uh, try and draw the circuit of a parity checker okay just change the color for the moment okay the parity checker circuits look something like this okay it also consists of XOR gates okay there's one and then two and then three and another one that is four so this is a parity checker circuit so in case of parity checkers under the even parity system okay if this parity checker would output okay a you know uh, you know this is the uh, error bit output right over here I would just write it down this is the error bit output okay in terms of an even parity system okay under even parity system if the error bit okay I'll just name it as E under even parity system if the error bit is equal to one okay then we have error okay and if it's zero then indi it indicates okay if e is equal to zero it indicates no error okay 
and under the odd parity system okay as you all would see over here if the error bit is equals to a zero then we would indicate or rather the circuit would indicate an error okay and if this is equal to a one then there would be no error as such okay so basically this is what the parity checkers are doing so they are just monitoring over here we have at the uh, last input to this last XOR gate we have the parity bit right over here and if we're getting this input number x3 x2 x1 and x0 as the input number okay just applying it to the various input terminals right over here so depending upon the parity bit being generated and its protocol in the transmission system the parity checkers what they just do is that they monitor whether the number of ones in the input data including the parity bit is either even or odd okay so if it's an even parity system then based on the protocol if it detects some error it would just you know output uh, the error bit as one okay and with no error it would just output the error bits zero which indicates no error and in case of the odd parity it will just correspondingly output these error bits depending upon whether there is an error or not okay so you can just try it out by means of certain examples okay by just trying various combinations so here is where we just end up our discussion on the parity generators and checkers okay i hope i've been able to you know uh, clear your doubts regarding this topic so don't forget to watch our next tutorial on digital electronics and until then it's just goodbye and thank you